Hi, I'm Aiden from InPlay, and we're at our booth here at Sensors Converge 2023, and I'm just going to walk through what we have here for display. So, this show, very busy, we have a lot of partners to show off. So, first thing I'm going to start off with our collaboration, we have Bosch and SparkFun. We are going into the developer kit sort of field here, so they have a special board which you has the ION100 on it, which is our chip, and then it has a quick connector to these Bosch SparkFun uh, combination sensor boards. So uh, we have for display, I have an accelerometer and then a atmospheric sensors here. And then you can go ahead and access the GPIOs to the ION100 and go ahead and program it and do whatever you want. Also on exciting news, I want to show off our new WLCSP, it's wafer level chip package. So very, very small. That's 1.1 by 2 by 0.33 millimeters. So when you're making a design, the Bluetooth chip's not going to be your problem for the size anymore, OK? We're probably going to be the smallest guy you're going to get on there. Furthermore, I want to talk about our collaboration with NXP. So this is a cool one. So they have right here on this demo board is three sensors in one, all talking to the ION100 through the I2C interface, right? So on the ION100, this is the 18 pinner right there. So it's a little bit bigger. We have three I squared C slaves, and each of these is actually going to one slave on the same clock and data line, and they take their turns talking to the I-100, and then every second it's beaconing out over and over again. This one is a battery-powered design, so if I can pop it open. And very cool for the NXP, we have the information being live reported from these beacons coming out onto the screen here. So if I take one of them, and I wave the magnet over top of the magnometer. You can see some of the data start to change there. So very cool. And then another one with this is, this one is triggered by the accelerometer. So to elaborate, that's the magnometer, accelerometer, and then pressure temperature sensor. So that's three in one, showing off a lot of flexibility with NXP. Next, I want to go into Sensirion and MicroE. Sensirion, you might be familiar with. We have the SGP40 and the SHT40. So this is uh, atmospheric uh, and temperature sensors that are on this guy. What MicroE is doing is they have these dev kits that will plug into one another. So say I have the ION100 dev kit here, access to our GPIOs, battery slots. You can go ahead and plug in antenna ports. All you have to take is one of these MicroE click ports plug in and you're ready to start developing uh, your own sensor. So very simple, very easy to use. And of course, this is just one. They have a whole bunch of different combinations you can use. So this is just the SHT Sensirian ones. They have many more on their website. <clears throat> OK, moving on. This is a company out of Europe. This is Itala. So this unique device is a soil uh, quality measurement device. So you put it on your soil. It is waterproof, so you'll tell you the moisture, humidity, temperature of your soil. It could go a little bit underground, and it's completely waterproof, so it can go into an aquarium too. So you take that guy, put it in an aquarium. How are the fish doing? You're going to know pretty quick. Have a gateway up in your greenhouse. Your entire garden is going to be managed at the same time. Very simple, very easy to use. A battery lifetime, about a year. OK. We also have returning is our partners Minyu and Moco. They have developed different uh, BLE tags and they are hitting the market with these guys for $1 tag. $1, very simple bomb in here. It's just the chip, uh, capacitor, a clock, a uh, simple coin saw battery, completely throw away is when it's done, completely recyclable, just throw it in the trash and you're good to go and that's selling for a dollar. So very impressive with that. Over on this side, we have a meat thermometer. So this has our tag in here with a temperature sensor. You plug it into the meat and if it's getting too hot, you're gonna burn your meat, it's gonna tell you. It's getting too low, you need to turn up the temperature, it's gonna tell you. And you can have that alert go to your phone with the, either the BLE app that we offer or one of their specialized apps. You can go ahead and see, is your meat gonna do okay? Do you have to change anything? And so that's a very simple, neat home device. Over here, Ferrotech, a company based out of the Netherlands, I believe, out of Europe. And they are doing things with cattle, swine, pigs, all in the animal agricultural industry. So this one, for example, is an ear tag. It would go up on your ear of the pig, connect on, and it's going to tell you where the pig is, uh, its body temperature, and they use this for pregnant pigs. So it would say, is she doing OK? Does she need more water? And combined with this water flow meter, you see how much of water the pigs are drinking out of their cages, right? And you're going to see if they're healthy. And of course, a couple gateways are going to be set up in that farm, and you have how are all the pigs doing. No need for the farmer to go in, check all individually. No need. 
Over here we have our combination with uh, Mitsubishi. So what we're doing with them here is they have a IR sensor connected. So you can see the screen updates and shows my finger. That's the heat coming off my finger. It's connected to a microcontroller. And then what our chip is doing in there is it's detecting the temperature thresholds that you set on this device. And as soon as you know a threshold is violated, say, it's too hot in front of the sensor, it's too cold, we're gonna beacon out and start saying, hey, you gotta do something here, something's going on. Okay. Now, I want to go on a little bit to our battery-free devices and what we're doing in that space. So this is a company out of China right here. And they have a very interesting device here. This is a uh, kinetic switch in here. I believe they're using a magnet and a diode, piezoelectric effect, right? You go ahead and push down, the light goes up. Don't look at it too much, it's too bright, right? You click it, it turns back off. And this guy is gonna have 300 meters, 400 meters line of sight with our chip in here. And of course, this is never gonna need to be replaced. It's completely battery free. So you can go on and off, and that's just one possible solution for this. So anything that's going to have kinetic energy, anything that's going to have this sort of solution put on. So a door opening and closing, that's enough energy to turn our guy on and say, hey, somebody went through your door. Garage door openers, all sorts of different things. Panic buttons. Uh, so they're going into a lot of designs with that. Okay. Furthermore, on our battery-free stuff, we have our partnership with Epeace. This is an energy harvesting company. They have their chip right there. This is the AEM 10330, and this is a solar energy harvesting device. You have two ports. Uh, one is for the storage component, so right here I have an Ichikan battery. The other one is for a solar cell. So, for example, I have a power foam uh, PV cell right here. It clicks in, and then this is a modified version of our dev kit board, right? So what you can do with this is talk to the UART, to your PC, to your Mac, uh, any sort of operating system you're going to be using, and configure the IN100 and test it with your battery-free solar solution or other such sort of battery-free uh, device. So a lot of different applications with this. You can just purchase one and begin developing your battery-free solution. You can see how long is this guy going to last in the dark? How often does the beacon need to chirp so that I can make it last one month? What about three months? Well, if I want it to last a year, do I need to change the battery? And you're doing all of that while just running it on, on this. And you can run it over and over again since we're just code free, configure it through the GUI, and you're ready to go over and over again, test a bunch of different ideas. All right, and then we have a partner, AquaSensing. This is a company out of Canada, another battery-free solution. They have a nanomaterial in here. When the water hits, that causes a chemical reaction, and that generates the voltage for this guy to turn on and say, hey, there's water on me, I'm leaking. So you can go ahead and have that guy sitting wherever you want to watch out for a leak. It can last quite a while. They were telling me up to 20 years. And then if there's ever a leak, you're going to know. It's going to be beaconing out, chirping, until you come to fix it. Okay, and I believe that is all we have to show at our table at the moment. Thank you for joining me, and see you next time.